Okay, we stopped off somewhere off the freeway. There's a casino. And I know in casinos, there's always going to be enough space for parking. It's parking that becomes the issue when we're towing. And this is called Grand Casino. Obviously owned by the Mill Lax Band. The Mill Lax Band. Okay, well, you know what? We need to give the Indians their money. Yep. They need to be paid back for anything that's been wronged. So we're going to Grill House. Oh, lovely flowers. It's not open. Ah! Now we're going to go into the main not push. Oh. I could try the door five times and oh. you'd still have to try it. Okay, yes. So maybe we're not going to Grill House. They have to have a cafe. They'll have something. Lovely flowers. They have to have food. Look at the flowers. Very colorful. I guess this time of year everything grows here. Okay, we ended up in Story's Diner. We got a T-bone steak, 16 ounces, with mashed potatoes. And Walter got chicken fried steak. Klokoti, Duluth, KOA. I love their, their flower baskets here. It's wonderful. Uh, they all have like some water. Anything in the yellow? Hello from Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are at, I know I'm going to butcher this. Cloquit, Cloquit, the Luth KOA journey. It's actually it's very clean. It's, very, it's quite spacious from one side to the other. So we're at site eight. And the next site over is seven, way over there. And are you on the utility side? It's a buddy, it's kind of a, like a buddy site, but not really. So, but with a very big green belt. It's a very long site. It's over 50 feet, probably 60, I would say. We can't fit two trucks in the front and back. So we can fit a truck in the front and we still have a lot of space in the back. 50 amps, water in, water out. The water pressure is really good. We did have to put leveling blocks down. So we were not leveled left and right. And the nice thing is, this is a brand new pedestal. Look at that, brand new pedestal. Now it is dirt. So they, there was pea, gra pea gravel here at one time, but the dirt's kind of taken over. And since we're here for seven nights, this is our setup. We put up the flag, and north is, it must be that way, because of Starlink. Since we've set this up on the frame of the rig, no trouble connecting with Starlink. Our Starlink for some odd reason is a prima donna and it doesn't like being on the ground. It likes being on this pole thing. And since we put it on the pole, it's not had any issues. So this is our part here. Nice. Now the park's not that big. All right, would I stay at this park again? The answer right now would be a yes. I would, because it's nice and clean. Very clean. No freeway noise. The only noise I hear right now is the air conditioning. <laughs> okay, we are next to a railroad track. And I've heard the train twice already. So if you don't mind the sound of trains, which I don't, I would not recommend staying here if you do, if you do not like the sound of trains. Today we are in Grand Portage National Monument in Portage, 
Minnesota. More than 2,000 years ago, Indian nations probably used the Grand Carrying Place to travel to winter hunting grounds. In 1729, Cree guided Agoagin, butchered that, showed French fur traders how to reach the Western Sea. The Nine Mile Portage was a vital link to the Northwest. Go take a look. We are staying in Duluth, so it almost it took almost three hours to get here. But the reason it took almost three hours is part of it was going 40 miles an hour and a lot of country roads along the coast. So make sure you take time. It's a, it was a beautiful drive. The lake on one side and forest on the other. It's going to take you that long. I'm sorry. Hello. How y'all doing today? I'm doing well. Yeah. Are you interested in buying some furs or? <laughs> Actually, I own half of these. <laughs> but mine are all in hats. So what did one pelt go for as far as trade? Oh. Here's your trading <laughs> point for your priceless right there. You already knew what I was going to ask. Here's the best deal of them all. 25 skins for a 30 foot canoe. Yeah, I saw that on the other. Yeah. There. That's, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I like this breakdown here, too. Yeah, that's, uh, that's interesting, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, is that? Thank you. Here at Grand Portage, there is no RV parking, so it's just kind of fend for yourself, like what these two did. Streetcar kitchen and pub, and I am having a 10 ounce sirloin steak, I think, with tater tots. And Walter is having patty melt with onion rings. Patty melt with onion rings. Today we are at Voyagers National Park in International, Fall, International Falls, Minnesota, named for the Voyagers French Canadian canoemen who traveled these waters from the Great Lakes to the western U.S. and Canada interiors. The water-based park offers scenery, geological and rich cultural and natural resources. Immerse yourself in the sights and sounds of the boreal forest. Or in this case, Highway 53. Since last week. Give me the Today we are in Apostle Islands National Lakeshore in Bayfield, Wisconsin. The lakeshore is at North at Lake Superior, the ancestral home of the Ibuju Ijibwe, Ijibwe people and later the home of early American logging operations and the commercial fishing industry. These islands offer the nation's finest collection of historic lighthouses 
as well as some of the most pristine sandscapes in the Great Lakes region. Driving here, I saw two lighthouses. I didn't know they were part of the park. <laughs> oh well. Okay, we are here in Cloclet. Cloclet? What's the place called? Cloclet? Cloquet. Cloquet at Hong Kong Restaurant. And I'm hoping it's not a buffet. I don't want a buffet. Oh! Okay, pork fried rice, egg foo young, and sweet and sour pork. And we have beef lo mein still coming out. I think that's it. And white rice. Oh, and white rice. Today we are at Royal Isle National Park in Highton, Michigan. Accessible only by boat or float plane. Royal Isle encompasses a total area of 850 square miles, including a submerged island, wolves and moose, and the crystal clear waters and rugged shoreline of Lake Superior categorize this park. We're not going to the island because I didn't bring any patches. But we are here at the visitor center so I can get my stamp. where you can catch a ship to the island which we're not going to do okay this was an unforeseen stop it was along the road Quincy Mine it's a national historical park it's not in my book so I did stop it's an old copper mine and you can take tours however <laughs> it's a walking tour so we're not doing that there are stairs to the mine and i'm not doing that right another thing about the mine it's a two hour tour so make sure you call ahead and make a reservation if you do want to do the mine tour all right we are here at Kiwina national historic park in Kalamut, Michigan from more than 7,000 years ago to the 1960s people have quarried or mined the rich copper deposits of the Kiwina copper built thriving industries and cosmopolitan communities in this remote wild land Though the mines have since closed, their mark is still visible in the land and the people. Okay, this was a copper ore area in Michigan. And it's, it's beautiful here. But I'm really not interested in visiting a copper mine. All right. Get our stamp and some postcards. This is an adorable town. I'm glad you think My so. first question, how do you pronounce this place? Kiwi... Kiwana. Kiwana. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, now the second question is where's your stamp? It's right around the corner here. Okay. There's an admission charge. I'm not paying five dollars. Okay, we are at Carmen's. Is it Carmen's? I think so. Carmen's Bar and Grill. I'm having Caesar salad with breaded mushrooms. And Walter's just having regular salad. They had onions and livers on the menu, but they're out. So 
I'm having shrimp alfredo and Walter's having a steak. We are still here in Cloquet, Minnesota. Cloquet? Cloquet? I don't know. Aren't these beautiful? They're all along the street lamps. These beautiful flowers. It's so pretty. And they're, they're, they have the American flag. It's really nice and patriotic. I love it here. Would never move here. It's a really tiny town of what was it? 2,000? 12,000? Okay, we're eating tonight at Pedro's Grill and Cantina because everyone in town that we have spoken to says it's a really good Mexican place. So this is where we're eating tonight. I got the carnitas. They marinated the pork in something. It's edible. I've had better. It's good. And Walter had the steak carnitas. All right, I think I mentioned that we didn't have the chilies, so I'm oh, sorry that the they didn't chili? come out. Oh, no. okay, no they just chili. Have, like, really We're having flan and tres leches. The flan is really, it's really firm. And the tres leches are here in Minnesota. Three milk cake. That's sour. That's not fresh. I spoiled milk. Instincts are telling me not to eat it, so I'm not eating it. Finding this more and more often where people are cooking over the campfire. It's cooking hamburgers. Interesting. Yeah, it's John and Irene set up with the, with the water filter. Two water in. Right, our last night here and we're having dinner at Hong Kong restaurant again. Their beef chow mein was really good so I'm gonna have that tonight. I'm not gonna have the fried rice, didn't like it. Beef chow mein and the curry which is actually very good. It has, it's not that strong curry flavor.